everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Equinox Celebration Webinar of the 2025 Initiative. As always, we'll have uh, an alignment at the beginning. And I pass the microphone to Wendy from Montreal. So, Wendy, please lead us. All right. Hello, everyone. We will now begin our uh, alignment. We will begin by breathing rhythmically, relaxing all aspects of the physical body. We will look next to our emotional body at this point. And as we continue our breathing, we will become calm and serene emotionally, letting those emotions go. We will also observe our thoughts, but let them go as well, so that the mind can be clear and focused. Let us center now in the heart center. Continuing to watch our breath. Allowing it to become low, slow, deep, and complete. From here, let us move our focus to the Ajna. The Ashna Center, located in the forehead. And let us visualize a triangle within the Ashna. And we will see each point of the triangle as an aspect of our personality bodies. One point will represent the physical etheric body. Another point will rep represent the emotional body. And the point on the top will, rec will represent the mental body. And let us visualize these three bodies coming into an integrated focus within the Ajna. And sound a silent Om, realizing that these three aspects are integrated into a unity aspiring to the soul, a silent own. We lift up our awareness now to the soul and take a moment to identify as the soul by saying this mantra, I am soul, soul am I.
And as so, we will now connect to the soul of the 2025 initiative. and to its place in the ashram of the hierarchy. Within this ashram, the hierarchy is overriding the work of the 2025 initiative. Let us move our awareness now to the Christ. And then to Shambhala, where the will of God for our planet is found. And from Shambhala, we invoke the energy of spiritual light, spiritual love, and spiritual will to flow downward through the Christ, through the hierarchy, to the new group of world servers of which the 2025 initiative is a part. And then to humanity, and to all kingdoms on the planet. And we then will close our alignment process with the Great Invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth.
Thank you, Wendy. You're welcome. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for the Equinox celebration. Yesterday was a day when sun progressed into sign of Aries, marking the beginning of the new year cycle, new astrological year cycle. And um, for, for many centuries and millennia, many cultures celebrated the beginning of the year as the sun reached this point of balance in its northward movement. And um, as usual, we gather together around this time to bring our intentions into meditative work for planetary healing. And so we will do it today, but before we come for that meditative alignment for planetary healing, the coordination group of the 2025 initiative would like to share with you uh, the plans for this year. As we enter the, this beginning of the cycle, we want to tell you about our plans for this year and share our calendar for this year. Uh, before we do that, I just want to share a few words about the 2025 initiative for those of you who uh, may join us for the first time or listen this recording of this webinar later. Uh, so the 2025 initiative is a shared peer learning meditative online space uh, for groups and individuals from around the world to meditate together in support of the vision of the new civilization. Share experience in living and manifesting spiritual laws and principles in everyday life and to learn from each other uh, the methods to develop group thinking and consciousness. The mission of the 2025 initiative is to globally support and share the contributions of world service everywhere, preparing the way for the externalization of the spiritual hierarchy of the planet and the reappearance of the Christ. The way we do that best could be described uh, probably by the quotes from the Discipleship in the New Age, Volume 2. Uh, I will read this quote which you see on the screen. You might here ask, what can we as a group accomplish? What is that we can do? You can't, for one thing, begin to work as an ashram works, using the power of thought, originating pressures, directing thought currents along specified lines out into the world, creating thought forms which will make clear-cut contact with other minds and which will bring about definite changes in the consciousness of humanity. So the 2025 initiative works with the methods presented through the science of meditation using the power of thought to work for precipitation of the ideas and inspirations that will guide humanity in its evolutionary path. We just as one of many initiatives and one of many points of light in the global network of light. And uh, it's an experiment uh, in group alignment, experiment in simultaneous meditation. Our work began in 2012 and back then we focused on promoting the message and the opportunity of the cyclic 
festival of the new group of world service which happens every seven years and we experimented with creating this simultaneous collective alignment uh, with the divine plan precipitating the ideas for humanity and uh, since then um, we selected 2025 as the milestone which marks the period of time named as a for the period of the forerunner the time when all world service around the world no matter of their uh, spiritual religious political ethnic cultural affiliation are called to prepare the material conditions for the externalization of the spiritual hierarchy of the planet and the reappearance of the Christ. And that is the main focus of our work. As I said, the, this is an experiment. Experiment in collective alignment and simultaneous meditation. We believe that um, no single individual or a group can have a monopoly to, for the vision, the vision and understanding of the divine plan. But we believe that collectively groups and individuals could receive impressions about what is that part of the plan related to our work at this particular time. And so for the last two years we've been experimenting with uh, gathering collective impressions. And so we did last year inviting you, our audience, to participate in the subjective retreat to meditate on what are the important tasks uh, in front of us and in front of all the world disciples. And uh, through several service and meetings we collected impressions and we uh, reflected on them and we summarized them and impressions from that retreat from that meditation that many of you participated in became a foundation for our year program uh, in this annual new annual cycle so today we will share with you uh, what those are and I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you who contributed your impressions and your inspirations and participated in this experiment. So this is the, uh, just a screenshot of uh, that service that's one of the service that we circulated last year and uh, results of this retreat we summarized in a seven folded um, program of action so to speak and um, that's what we believe we could use as a reflection of that part of the plan related to the work of world service in this period of time number one is focusing on establishment of right human relations emphasizing the role of good will as a medium for expression of the will to good. Number two, emphasis of the imminence of the externalization of the hierarchy and the reappearance of the Christ and the use of the power of invocation and evocation. Three, building material conditions for the externalization of the hierarchy realizing our disciples discipleship responsibility for building those material conditions that would make the externalization possible sooner. Number four, to emphasize the role of beauty, joy and vitality, making the discipleship path magnetic and attractive. Number five, work with the younger generations, translating the language of 
deep esoteric meanings to the language of today's world. Six, world service seen as a broadcast channel for the vision for humanity and therefore responsibility related to that. And number seven, bringing the note of efficiency into our esoteric work. How can we be practically efficient in our meditation and in our service? So these seven points became the foundation for our year program. And now I want to invite Katya to share with you our year theme and main activities of this year. Katya, please unmute yourself. Yes. Hello, everybody. Um, so this year, this year focus, so the increasing planetary alignment since the moment of Shambhala impact in 2000, we are witnessing to this impact allowing the inflow of extra light and that extra light causing a turmoil of change in all spheres of human activity. At the same time, this light is also initiating a wave of rapid awakening within humanity. And as it, it is expanding the light, humanity becomes more and more aware, concerned, and disenchanted by forces of materialism, wars, inequalities. And um, as humanity is aspiring towards the new world, we see that it is important during this astrological year, 2017 to 2018, to focus uh, from overall perspective on the theme of alignment with this emerging light. For two years we were focusing on the light, and now we're shifting to the aspect of alignment, in the importance of alignment. And uh, focusing that, we're going to be doing our year, uh, year activities, as we call it, right? So basically it's a cyclic work, and uh, one would be, as always, the monthly webinars taking place during each full moon period, in which, in addition to the focus of an alignment to the light, we'll be using the highlight, uh, the, we'll be using those times to highlight the importance of goodwill as expressed through right human relations. Because we believe that the establishment of right human relations will immensely contribute to eliminating the division between individual groups and nations, addressing the issue of separation and strengthening the group work. Also, we'll be doing monthly new one webinars. The initiative emphasizes the need for practical and skillful work in order to create material conditions for the outer expression of soul nature. We realize and recognize our collective responsibility to anchor and distribute the energy of goodwill onto the physical plane. So we will be continuing to use the new moon psychic meditation to support and strengthen the thought forms of the United Nations sustainable development goals as a globally agreed upon framework for humanity's evolutionary advancement. 
And um, since we believe that there are four more extremely potent and time for for the group to meditate with the energies, we will be continuing the quarterly cycle of alignment with the planetary rhythms of solstices and eclipses. And for those, we will be seeking to strengthen our alignment with the light of the one life. So those are the plans for the next year. Thank you. Alexander, and back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Katya. And uh, I would invite Wendy to share our year calendar of the uh, full moon uh, uh, webinars and the quarterly webinars. Okay, we will begin with March 21st. The, which is today. Which is today. <laughs> okay. Alignment to the light. Um, Equinox celebration. Um, the year plan announcement, which we are ha have just heard about. And the planetary healing meditation that will be following this with Mass Bonstead from Denmark. Then on April 9th, the Aries Solar Festival. The theme will be Reflection on Right Human Relations with Alice and Rudolf Schneider from Switzerland. For the WESAC, the Taurus Solar Festival, there will be a presentation on Alignment to the Light, which is the theme for the whole year, as, as you have heard. And for that, there will be uh, a alignment ritual that will be facilitated by representatives from five different continents. For the WESAC festival itself, there will be a multilingual collective invocation. For the Gemini Solar Festival conf Conference, it will be on the leadership responsibility of the new group of world servers. And the speakers will be Dot Naver from the United States and Martin Deezer from Argentina. Next is the Solar, the Solstice Festival with Anton Antonella Nobilio from Italy. And uh, July, I think we need July. Oh yeah, there it is. July 8th, the Cantor Solo Festival, building material conditions for the manifestation of the plan. with Daniel Hersen from Switzerland. August 5th, the Leo Solar Festival will be spiritual leadership with Lorraine Flowers from the United, the United Kingdom. Then the Virgo Solar Festival, translating the ageless wisdom to younger generations with Anastasia Smirnova from Russia. The Equinox Festival Celebration, Planetary Healing, we will ha again have Matt Bronsted from Denmark leading this as he will be leading it with us today. For the Libra Solar Festival, 
The theme will be Right Balance with Maria Caligari and Bart Cook. And then the Scorpio Solar Festival. The title is From the Battle I Emerge Triumphant, Joy and Beauty. And our speaker will be Claire Bingham from New Zealand. For the Sagittarius Solar Festival, the topic will be Building the Group on Karana with Michael and Tulia Robbins from Finland and the USA. This will be followed by the Solstice Festival with Antonella Nobilio again from Italy. The Capricorn alignment with Jerusalem will be the topic and this will be given by the Hechel group from Israel. Then the Capricorn Solar Festival, the topic will be the power of invocation and evocation with Barbara Valkor and Steve Nation from the United States. The Aquarian Solar Festival, the topic will be Goodwill and Group Alignment with the Sydney Goodwill Unit in Australia. Then for the Pisces Solar Festival, the topic will be on the state of the world affairs and the speaker will be announced later. Thank you, Wendy. As you uh, probably noticed in the calendar, there are a um, few events that um, in, in a way getting um, out of the regular rhythm of the events, and I just want to say a few words about those. Um, first of those is the VASAC Multilingual Invocation. It's a special project that we invite you all to participate. It's not going to be a regular webinar, but it's, it will be a um, gathering where we will invite people from different countries to sound the great invocation in their languages. Then the recording of this webinar will be uploaded on YouTube and share it with everyone and uh, we will encourage everyone to share it further that the recording of the Great Invocation in different languages would be available uh, for the Great Invocation Day at the Gemini full moon. And so it could be used as a ritual assistance or assistance in any ritual that your group might uh, want to do during that time, or it could be used in, in a great invocation vigil, annual vigil that's, that happens every year at that time. And uh, we thankful for the idea of multi-language great invocation recording to our friend from Ukraine, uh, Andri, who created the esoteric radio, and uh, we support his work and encourage you to check uh, his website. We will put it in the chat window later here. Uh, and in that radio, the recording of this uh, great invocation in different languages will be sounded together with music. Then the next special project is the Gemini Conference. This will be really experiment for us this year because it will be not just a regular webinar, uh, it will be um, conference with work in smaller groups and uh, we will expand our usual technology inviting more interactive participation from the audience uh, 
uh, through sharing in smaller groups uh, on the topics of discipleship responsibility and leadership. Another special project this year, uh, or it's a webinar that doesn't follow any specific rhythm, but for the last uh, several years, the group from Jerusalem, the Hikal group, been holding webinars for the Capricorn full moon. And there is definite note that this group brings uh, to the world ageless wisdom community and we feel importance to continue this annual rhythm of this Jerusalem note coming during the Capricorn full moon. It's going to be experiment and uh, we are really grateful for the Hekal group for uh, doing this work and continuing to keep the note of goodwill in this important region. And the last one, um, it's not so much a project yet, but it could become one. Through the survey that um, we did uh, last year for this uh, subjective retreat that I mentioned before, uh, we got uh, impressions, one of uh, the participants of the retreat uh, suggested that it would be great if uh, different task forces could be created where people could uh, meditate and share more in more um, in, a, in a smaller groups on different topics uh, and uh, particularly there were suggested two uh, task forces one is a task force on public relations how do we communicate the language uh, uh, of ageless wisdom and the, 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 the essence of the ageless wisdom to public in the modern world second task force that was suggested was the task force on education. Uh, how do we work with the younger generations? How do we communicate the ideas of ageless wisdom to the younger generations? We think it's a great idea. However, uh, the coordination group of the 2025 initiative uh, doesn't have capacity to expand our activities further uh, and we offering this as an opportunity and uh, invitation to those of you who would be interested in that type of work and would be ready to take a lead in forming that type of task forces to come forward and to initiate that work and we from our side would share the platform and will give technological support for that. And we see it as a very important possibility which we invite the community to consider. Another special project that we would like to take on this year, we would like to upgrade our website. Uh, and so we would raise money to pay for web designers to help us to develop the website and we will start and share with you the Kickstarter uh, call uh, for resources and hope together we could raise enough money to make to upgrade our website. Um, in the near future we will share with you the, that call for raising necessary funds for that. And we invite volunteers, we invite you, uh, because as I mentioned the capacity of the coordination group is limited and there are so many great ideas which we cannot just uh, do on our own. Uh, we're really grateful to a uh, volunteer who joined our team last year, Daniela Nestorovic from Belgium, who uh, 
provides ongoing technical support for all our webinars and recording and posting the recordings of the uh, webinars. So thank you very much, uh, Daniela. And we invite other volunteers because there are uh, other projects that we could use your help with uh, help with editing. Um, in our coordination group, there's only one native speaker. Uh, we have international team from uh, seven different countries around the world, from four continents, and uh, English is not our strength, unfortunately. Uh, so we could use that help. We could uh, use your. There is an idea that we might might they might be beneficial to uh, come up with the summaries of each webinar uh, of the bullet points of the main ideas that any particular speakers deliver. So if, if anyone would want to take a lead on that, please. We might use some help of designers, uh, visual designers, to come up with some uh, ideas for the website. And maybe there's something else. If you see that how we can advance our work and you could help with that, please let us know. We will be really helpful, grateful for that. And the last, um, I want uh, to say a few words about the World Service Network. You might have noticed that uh, all our webinars come uh, through the World Service Network platform. Uh, it's a platform that hosts several groups, uh, provides space for uh, uh, webinars and uh, group meetings. Um, this platform is uh, for many years been supported by anonymous donor. We're really thankful, and, and uh, thanks to this donor, our work is very smooth in terms of having access to this wonderful platform. And today, I just want to invite those of you who would like to use the capacity of this platform for your group work, let us know and if your mission is aligned with our mission, we would be gladly share we will gladly share this platform with you as we share at the moment with the Aquarian Age community and the planetary the Institute of the Planetary Synthesis from Geneva and other groups. So let's use this great resource and generosity of our donor that makes this work possible. So thank you very much. This is our year plan and thank you for ongoing participation in this meditative work that we try to do our best to focalize and bring together. Thank you. And I invite a mass to take over from me and to take us into the focus for the planetary healing meditation. Thank you very much, Alexander. I will do that. Um, I will begin by sort of just outlining the purpose and the and the build-up of this uh, planetary healing meditation. The purpose is to invoke the help of the angels and Deva kingdom uh, to heal the planet and may, maybe uh, we will have a um, specific focus on humanity uh, being members of that part of nature ourselves. In the past we have been doing it uh, going through some triangles we call planetary inlets. I would like to omit that this time in order to do the meditation uh, to make it a bit more accessible and, and uh, hereby I hope to make it a bit more powerful as well. So the build-up is that we align with the source of healing, the angel of healing on the on the planet. From that we align with the Christ. And from that last being, you know, as the Christ, we align with the network of um, angels of nations. And 
can visualize how healing energies emanates through these angels into all of the hotspots uh, around the world, but also just flowing into every nation in the world and creating a, an atmosphere of love, light, healing energies. So that's sort of the general outline of the meditation. Now let's do the meditation itself. Let's prepare ourselves for maybe just 15 to 20 minutes of uh, meditation. By closing our eyes, finding a comfortable way of sitting. Take a few deep breaths and direct our attention inwardly. Focusing our point of tension in the Ashna Center. From here we draw our point of attention into the middle of the head, heart center of the head, in the cave. Focused in the cave, we invoke the presence of our own soul, consciousness, and being. And we acknowledge the presence of all the other beautiful souls present in this meditation tonight, today, by sending a stream of loving acknowledgement to each and every one in this network, visualizing that we thereby create a stream or a line of light throughout the world, each of us being a beacon Now we connect with the soul consciousness of the 2025 initiative, becoming one light. We recollect the purpose of this meditation to invoke the help of the angels to heal the planet. And 
and then raise this purpose deep into the light as one group. Visualizing the point deep, deep into the light. By an act of love and will, we lift our point of tension into this point in the deep light. We connect with the source of healing, visualizing it as a vast angelic being. And we invoke the help of this being to heal all life forms on earth. Where we act of service of this healing angel. We see the healing energy is flowing from this vast angelic being through the Christ Following it with the love of the Christ, flowing out into the network of angels of nations all over the world. Directing healing energies everywhere where it's needed. We hold this alignment in this point of tension for a few minutes together just visualizing the healing energies doing their work through the alignment
and when when the cloud pits in a minute will you just through the great invocation let's visualize that this alignment is anchored and grounded into the planet in the physical manifestation by sounding the great invocation. So when you're ready, Wendy, please take the microphone. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men. The purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men. Let the plan of love and light work out. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and power and love restore the plan on earth. Oh. Thank you very much. That felt tremendously powerful on my end. I hope you, the rest of you, experience something similar. So thank you very much. Over to you, Alexander. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Wendy. And thank to everyone who is together in this path. Thank you. Hope to see you now at our coming webinars. Our next webinar will be on March 29th. It's going to be Aries New Moon webinar. We will continue our work focusing on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And this time we will meditate on goal number nine industry, innovation, and infrastructure. Um, we invite volunteers to focalize our coming New Moon meetings. So please step forward. And as it was announced earlier today, our next Full Moon meeting will be on April 9th. Area Solar Festival webinar with Alice and Rudolf Schneider from Switzerland and we'll together reflect on the right human relations and goodwill and topic would be yagna or offering. Thank you and have a wonderful year. <laughs>